I was inspired to even step into this from my grandmother, from the forms that she created and the styles that she created. And smooth back over. As I've noticed through the art world, especially ceramics, few people do this style that are Navajo, where historically Navajo pottery never showed as well um, in galleries because they were always seen as uh, functional. Um, not a lot of people do it. It's important with, when you have a smooth edge that you clean your tool. Exactly. And then that family history is always present. Those forms are always in the back of my head where that history has a strong community foundation. Having these histories and this community-based effort in your mindset when you step into that studio, into that environment, which is a lot more rewarding when you bring other people with you. Not only just your line, but the lines of other people, the lineage of other people and how that, being aware of those things in your process, I think really definitely impacts what you create. Yeah, I'll probably build it up more. Okay. I'm gonna, you want it to be wet. Cultural knowledge and cultural practices is powerful, especially as a people, as for, for a community. With larger coils. That knowledge is powerful to have. And when it comes to pottery, when you have a, a functional pot that's not a slip cast from Walmart or a plastic bin or a plastic bowl, but you have somebody that spent their time and patience to create, that has significance, that has meaning, and there's power behind that. And so what I'm hoping is that through teaching and, and people learning, we can take this style to the next level. When you have the numbers of people that know how to do it and people that are consistently practicing it, that's when innovation happens. And so I hope to help that and aid that because historically, especially in these art shows, a lot of the definitions of what traditional Navajo pottery are come from an anthropological or archaeological legacy of definition which is ultimately a non-native definition. If we have more potters and kind of take grip of that again, then we can define what this is, uh, not only to ourselves, which we've always done, but to a foreign audience as well. Learning clay is a unique experience because of the connection to the place you got it from. You're aware of where all your materials come from, and it's happening here, where we're from. It's an experience that you wouldn't have at another university in terms of when you get your clay from a company or out of a plastic bag. It's, it's inspiring. It's an important time to really re-ground ourselves in the foundations of who we are and where we come from.
Pottery has a function in that because not only for the potter, but once somebody creates a vessel, it has a life beyond the potter. It can have a mind of its own where if you fight it too much, it won't work with you. We're all gonna point it toward the center. might need some newspaper to encourage that side of the There's nothing left <laughs> on this side. <laughs> It's a humbling material, like it'll warp on you, it'll crack on you, it can bust in the firing, but after all that hard work and effort that you put in, that persistence, and once you see the big picture of creating something from the earth and with your hands and with water and eventually fire, you have to understand its own personality to create something together. There's not a single class like this in Navajo pottery in the world. And that makes, makes it unique and makes it powerful. And now's the time to learn these things. There's a huge interest in a young, from the younger generation of, of using traditional methods of dyeing and creating um, older designs and doing this, participating in this strong revitalization. And so I hope that's what happens with this style. We build upon that traditional idea of function and purpose and take it to the next level in craftsmanship. Historically with our pottery, I see it in a sense of it's our engineering. Like we've created like unique forms and techniques that the, since these things have a purpose and they're not just st static inside a, a gallery, that each generation has kind of contributed a, a building upon that kind of design. And so as a people, I think that concept of being aware of your thoughts and how they're powerful and being patient with it, but it's very relevant to today, especially with all the distractions of fast-paced life sometimes with social media and all these things. It's important to ground ourselves and clay has a literal way of doing that. I'm grateful to have this knowledge because of who my grandparents were. Because of that history of how much they, people they taught this style, I feel like I should approach it with the mind, same mindset of I have this knowledge because someone else taught me. It's important to teach and it's important to learn 